good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you may be in the world welcome to just love for jesus this morning we are doing a 3 p.m prayer we encourage ourselves to be close to the almighty god jesus christ and the holy spirit on this channel and we teach and help us help ourselves in this gathering of brethren to be close to Jesus, to accept Jesus as our Lord and personal Savior. If you are new to this channel and you are not in the faith, you have not accepted Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, I pray that you listen to the Bible reading. I pray that at the end of it, you will make up your mind today to accept Christ into your life and be saved. Let Jesus come into your life and start teaching you the righteousness and what we you need to make heaven this our faith as christians is a faith not a religion you have to have faith because whoever comes to the almighty god has to have faith and believe that the almighty god is spirit and jesus is god incarnated spirit is only begotten son so here this morning we'll be praying for ourselves, we'll be praying for the world, we'll be praying for those who have made prayer requests, and we will encourage those who will come across this, who have not accepted Christ, to accept Christ and go to the prayer of salvation, which I'll be bringing you the link in this uh, uh, video. So let us pray. Before we read the Bible, we always pray so that the Holy Spirit will come and minister to us what we are about to read. Almighty God, Jehovah is your name. Yahweh is your name. We thank you for Jesus. We thank you for giving us Jesus to be the propitiation for our sins. Jesus, we thank you for the Holy Spirit. We thank you for the encounter we have with you. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for the salvation of our souls. Glory be to your name. Blessed be your name. We ask in your name, Jesus, that you come to each and every heart that you are in their heart knocking. Let them open their heart to you. Because you have said to us, your last instruction to us is to go therefore and make disciples of the world, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those who are still outside your grace that are listening to this ministration this morning, to this prayer time, to this early morning time with you. They will come, Lord, and taste that you are good. They will accept you as their Lord and personal Savior because the Almighty God so much loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have eternal life. But they have to believe in you before they can be spared eternal damnation. They have to believe in you to have eternal life. Thank you, Jesus. Let everyone that is hearing this, my voice, anywhere they are, Lord, let them want to know you. Let them want to come to you and profess you as Lord and Savior. Let them want to come and do exploit for you. Let them want to walk in your righteousness. Let them want to be the light of the world. In your name, Jesus, we pray this morning. We pray for those who are suffering. We pray for those who are outside the grace. Let them know that when they have your grace upon them, you will take them and teach them your ways. They will be happy in you. The, you, the word of God, you said to us, in the world there is trouble, but in you there is peace. And we are asking in your name this morning that you give your peace to those who are seeking you. Let them find you. Let them know that you are the light, you are the savior of the world, and in you there is no trouble. In you they have salvation, in you they have everything. Let them come and profess you as Lord and savior and denounce evil and denounce darkness. In your mighty name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Our reading this morning is taken from the first Thessalonians, a letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. And we 
we'll, we'll be continue our reading from first Th Thessalonians chapter 2 from verse 13 to verse 19 to verse 20 from verse 13 to verse 20 and we also thank God constantly for this that when you receive the word of God which you heard from us you accepted it not as the word of men but as what it really is the word of God which is at work in you believers for you brothers became imitators of the churches of God in Christ Jesus that are in Judea for you suffered the same things from your own countrymen as they did from the Jews who killed both the Lord Jesus and the prophets and drove us out and displeased God and opposed all mankind by hindering us from speaking to the Gentiles that they might be saved so as always to, to fill up the measure of their sins but God's wrath has come upon them at last. But since we were turned away from you, brothers, for a short time in person, for a short time in person, not in heart, we endeavored the more eagerly with great desire to see you face to face, because we wanted to come to you. I, Paul, again and again, but Satan hindered us. For what is our hope or joy or crown of boasting before our Lord Jesus at his coming? Is it not you? For you are our glory and joy. This is a letter of Paul encouraging the new believers in their faith. And I pray that as you read this, the Holy Spirit will minister to you. Paul is saying here that he was hindered by Satan. But he, he, he went on to give glory to God because he overcame. And that is what we are once we become believers in Christ, followers in Christ. We are overcomers. The devil cannot stop us. No hindrance. There is nothing impossible for our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, how wonderful. Oh, how marvelous. This song was composed by me. On the 27th of April 1920. Oh, how wonderful! Oh, how marvelous is the love of Christ for me! Oh, how wonderful! Oh, how marvelous! Is the love of Christ for me? Oh, how wonderful! Oh, how marvelous is the love of Christ for us! Oh, how wonderful! Oh, how marvelous! is the love of Christ for us. Amen? Amen. This is another one of my composed uh, music. Oh Lord my God, you are great, but I am weak. Oh, Lord, my God, come strength in me. Oh, Lord, my God, my spirit. 
it is willing O Lord my God Come strengthen me O Lord my God I am weak, I am weak O Lord my God Come strengthen me Amen, Amen This one is not my own composed song, but nonetheless, it will be our last hymn. Oh, Lubala, The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. The Lord God will continue to guide us to Jesus Christ, we pray this morning. We thank you, Jesus, for your resurrective power. We thank you for your covenant upon us who call you and profess you as our Lord and personal Savior. We ask in Jesus' name that our going out and our coming in be ordained by the Holy Spirit. We ask the Holy Spirit to continue to minister to us. We ask that we do not grieve you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything. In your mighty name we pray this morning. Our going out and our coming in is protected by you. No weapon of destruction will locate us. We bring all our families, our children, our grandchildren, our places of work, our businesses. We bring them into your hand, into your protective hand, Lord Jesus. Anything we hand over to you is safe. And we say, guide us, purify, purify our hearts, O oh Lord Jesus, because only those with pure hearts will see God. Help us, Lord daily in your mighty name we pray amen